Today we're going to dig deeper into using clues to analyze the text through cause and effect and point of view. This week we have read Half Chicken, a traditional tale in which a lesson is learned. One event often leads to another. One event can cause another event to happen. The second event that happens is a result of the first event. It is the effect. These two events are linked together. To determine cause and effect, you need to ask yourself about what happens and why. Let's take a look at our screen here. In Half Chicken, one event often makes another event happen. When the cook puts half chicken in hot water over a fire, Half Chicken asks the fire not to burn him. Being put in the hot water is the cause. Asking the fire for help is the effect. As you reread, ask yourself what happens and why. Use text evidence from the words and pictures to help you answer. You can fill a chart in, like the one below, to list your cause and effect. I can ask myself, what happened in the story? I can read and find out that hen is surrounded by animals. And these animals want to see the strange chick. I can write that in the effect column. Why do the animals think the chick is strange? They are surprised that he is half chicken. This is something unusual. I will write that in the cause column. Now, let's take a look back at page 333. And look at our point of view. Point of view is the way a character thinks about an event. This is very tricky, boys and girls. <clears throat> When we are thinking about our different characters, we need to remember that they may have different opinions about what is happening in the story. This will often cause the different characters to react differently to the same event. When we read a story, we need to think about how each character feels about what is happening. We should use that feeling in our voice for the character. For example, if the character's sad, we can read what the character says in a sad way. Our page says, point of view. Characters in a story sometimes think about the same event in different ways. Each character has a different point of view. As you read a story aloud, think about how the characters feel and about what is happening. Think about why they say what they say. Use a different voice for each character to show how the character feels. As you reread your story today, whether it be with me or on your own, I want you to make sure that you are stopping to think about the character's different points of view and using our voice when we're reading to make it understood how the character is feeling. We're also going to be thinking about our cause and effect throughout our entire story and asking ourselves, why certain things happened. After we're done reading today, friends, we're going to stop, think, and then have a written response. Half Chicken was very vain. However, he also showed that he could be thoughtful of others. Think of the ways Half Chicken was thoughtful and helpful. Write a paragraph to explain ways he was helpful. Use text evidence from the story. Write an opening sentence to begin your paragraph. Write a closing sentence to end. Read carefully, think hard, and check your writing over when you're done. Happy writing!